Tesla Cybertruck versus Toronto condos, which is better? Well, it's not hard to tell. Why is the Tesla truck just like making so waves? 200,000 orders or savers in 24 hours. Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker. Today we're going to talk about the difference between the Tesla Cybertruck and Toronto condos. We're going to look at how Tesla Cybertruck really reinvented the wheel, literally, and how condos are so backed off and so old and so like not thinking and what we can do, what we can learn from the Tesla Cybertruck to make condos just like this Tesla Cybertruck. Okay friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Age Mortgage Broker. You can find me on YouTube, you can find me on torontocondosforsale.com. If you want to see all the new condos, just go to torontocondosforsale.com, hit that little button called Projects in Toronto and it'll give you a list of everything that's going on the construction or existing already or coming up. There you go. You can sign in actually to get the updates, get the menu with all the listings. Um, I got the condo calculator for you, which will help you uh, name, email, I'm not a robot. And this will help you download the spreadsheet with all the costs for your condos. Uh, YossiKaplan.com, info for investors, sign up here. You get some good information from me, deals, assignment, exclusive information, whatever. Okay, let's go to that video. Let's go to the Tesla Cybertruck. And I'm going to talk a few things about what the Cybertruck has to do, now of course it's a great show they got there, but what the Cybertruck has to do with condos, so I got a list for you. Okay, the first thing is design, so design form follows function. A lot of these uh, condos we see today, if not all of them, just look all the same to me. There's really no difference. I, <laughs> you know, you basically have, you have a choice of two, you have a choice of those who look like uh, brick, like right here, or right here, or right here and those who look like a big glass and steel building and some of them will have the brick at the bottom uh, which is the warehouse style and then on top you get the tower okay so the bottom is the one style and the top is the other style but that's more or less it there's no form follows function there's no like this kind of crazy lines there's no innovation in the design and the architecture of condos just none okay there's a lot of variations on the theme and there's a lot of play which is really cool but we need something like completely like mind-bending completely defying the odds looking completely separate from everything else okay but it's not only that it looks different it also does things different I mean it, it is coefficient uh, it is effective to build you know this entire cyber truck is built from one sheet of metal one sheet so that means that that one sheet, they just bang it, they fold it, and there you go. There's no paint here. Uh, they're not using anything uh, extra, just to the point. So look at all these trucks. This is all these trucks. They look all the same, okay? Think about the condos. They look all the same. The same, the same, the same, the same, the same. A little wider, a little bigger, a little shinier, a little smaller, a little more red of this kind, more red of that kind, but it's really just the same, okay? Uh, one and a half million sold so far this year. So yeah, they look a little crazy and big now and they try to make it more like Blade Runner like, but they're not. They're just good old combustion engine, you know, 120 years old. This technology is literally 120 years old. Actually, most of the technology is even before. I mean, you had the, the, the horse buggy. <laughs> he had shocks. He had actually leaf shocks. You know, he had wheels. And the car is more or less the same. It's still got shocks that are based on the same. The tires are more or less based on the same. The engine is combustion engine, so there's a lot of fine-tuning, but you know, there's so much energy you can get out of combustion engine. It's just not going to take it to the next level. There's so much you can get out of this body. There's so much you can get because of the weight. So much gasoline you have to spend, all these things. Okay, so here, this is, this is what you do. You just break everything you know and start fresh and bring this thing. Now, the first thing you see this thing, oh my God, this is just insane. What the hell? Because you're so not used to it. But when you start looking at this thing, you go, man, that makes so much sense. Everything here makes sense. I mean, it doesn't even need a front engine because the engine is in the wheel and all the battery is the bottom. So it sits down and heavy. You know, it can probably climb crazy inclines. You can probably, like, go all kinds of angles because the, the center of gravity, the center of weight is so low. It just sticks to the ground. So probably it's going to have really good handling even though it sits high. And look at this, all these giant people. Uh, coming out of the truck, or oh, it came out of uh, the Matrix, I think. I don't know, these are actors, or maybe they're like a famous band. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, you see, like in this, I don't know how many of them were, but quite a few of them. 
that thing loads a lot. So it does everything. So I got I got a bunch of lists here. Design, form, follow, function. That means it's not enough that the form, what it looks like, it also means that it does stuff. It it's functional. Okay. The next thing is its utility. It can do all the things. You know, this can can haul weight. It can carry your family. It can go camping. It can do whatever you want. Okay. A condo, yes, it doesn't move, but can it serves you better? Can it have enough storage space? Is it efficient? Uh, is it fun to live? Do you have no waste space there? Do you build like an amazing product for the least amount of effort and the least amount of price and still get the best product possible? That's what we want to see. Okay, it's powerful. This thing is very, very powerful. You can actually order online how many motors you want in this thing, one, two, or three. You can order online the range, uh, the capacity of the battery, how much you want it, like medium, small, large. Okay. Can I order online the options in my condo? Of course not. I have to wait until it's ready and I go to the design center and talk to someone and look at sam like little samples, supposed to be a whole wall. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, why can I not order it online, have a super high definition pictures of what I want to see? If I want to go to the design center, sure, but I don't have time. I just want to click, click, click and do it. And I don't even want to interact with people. And also, I want to do it when I order the condo and make it part of the condo. Um, just like when I order the options on the car, make it part of the car, and then the whole thing goes towards the price of the car. Why not? And then I go to the condo, and then I get two more checks, and then, of course, I give the checks to the lawyer, and the lawyer does not cash the checks on time. What is this? Like, <laughs> you know, if I'm, if I'm to pay for any other product and I have a payment plan, I know it's going to come on the first for the next 12 months, on the first. Why is the condo uh, checks not going out on time? You know, why is it not all connected? Why don't I have an app? They say, okay, uh, remember in a week you got to have $40,000 in this account and it's for that condo. And then in three days you're going to do this. And today the money's going to come out of your account and it does. That's how it needs to be, okay? Um, it needs to be powerful. Powerful means it can do all kinds of things. So I need to have modular space in the condo because the condo space is getting so small. It has, it has to be able to use this from all kinds of places, all kinds of stuff, okay? It's got to be efficient, very little waste or no waste. So, of course, the most amount of waste in condos are the common elements are usually not very well designed. And, of course, the hallways in the condos, because the units are so small then, and they're narrow, then they put the kitchens on the wrong side, which is the long side, not the back side. And wherever you sit, you get like 10 feet to sit and you always look into your kitchen. And that's just not pleasant. It's not fun to live like that. So it needs to be efficient. It has to be no waste, okay? Why isn't the glass of my condo, when the sun comes in, I can just press a button or automatically that thing will just darken, just like sunglasses. Or my blinds just come when needed. And it needs to be installed with the condo. Like It's got to come with all the options. After I get the condo, then I got to do the closet, then I got to blind. It's, it's so wasteful. It's just wasteful, you know. I want to come to the condo, click, 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 order everything. I want this kind of blinds, I want this kind of glass, I want this kind of heating. You know, um, the, I don't even have a choice for my choice of heating. The clunker I got in there, you know, in my condo, it's like it's so loud that HVAC unit. It's so loud. Why can I not choose between the basic and a medium and like a Tesla, like a really good HVAC unit? It comes with 20 years uh, warranty and everything. Okay, it. Um, a lint filter you can barely get in there and fix there's so many innovations that are missing it could be on the mechanical system could be electrical system with your connection of the condo could be the construction itself from the floor materials everything needs to be upgraded to this level to the Tesla level okay what we see now is just a little by little by little but it's it's not going anywhere because there's no idea of how can we take it to the next level it's just like oh yeah uh, you know, uh, so-and-so kitchens now have this kitchen in this color, so we'll, we'll offer this one. But it's not about really like the future. How do we make the condo of the future? How do we make a residence of the future, the living of the future? What do people need? I want to come home and the home will rearrange it for me because when I come home, let's say, after a long day of work, it should rearrange it for me and get ready for me because he knows I want to have dinner. Or it should be arranged for me and I'm in the shower and then I want to go watch TV or go play... A game on my computer or go to bed it should arrange for me arrange the lights arrange the heating maybe there's things that can open and close maybe the bed can fold out and be ready for me and then when i'm done it just like suck itself back into the wall anything like that would be really helpful okay so automation but not the automation you think about now but like complete unit change like you walk in and the whole thing just adjusts to you you know that'd be really nice smart appliances that you know before before they're gonna 
the fridge gonna like die the fridge tells me I need to die and he already knows and can order a fridge and look for the sale and like everything all that done kitchens that work you know cabinets that work <laughs> it's not like oh my god like we got the soft clothes on the drawers no everything better everything better everything more smart not a single piece of wasted space <clears throat> you know even think about the sink how many condos small condos have these kitchens where the sink is next to the wall so if you have a pot with a handle you can't cook because there's just no room so you got to put it the other side but then the handle goes over the other burner you're going to burn yourself if you grab it so you're going to put it on the side and then you can't use the burners so <clears throat> there's a lot of small things you can do but together it can really take it to the next level but the thinking must be I gotta take it to the next level. It's not incremental change, like this is where I'm going and then how I'm gonna do it. And there's two options to do it. One is incremental changes and second is new thinking, completely new stuff. And you gotta do both at the same time and fast. So I call on all the architects, all the designers, all developers, you know, forget everything you know and start making Cybertruck condos. Literally, Cybertruck condos, okay? Uh, elevators that don't break and they go faster. Stairwells, like a fashion house, you cannot walk the stairwells up not even take him up to the second floor because <clears throat> the stairwells are one way only out and they use only for a fire escape so if you live on the second floor or the third floor you have to take the elevator so everyone above you has to stop on the second and the third while you could have actually walked and they won't even have to go there so that means that it takes everyone more time to go up and down the, the elevator but also <clears throat> It more stress on the elevator itself because it's got to stop again and again and again and I could have saved all the second floor stops or let's say half of the second floor stops maybe 30% of the third floor stops which makes a lot of sense to me okay um, parking and lockers you know how the parking and lockers they always get broken into they always get broken into the parking and lockers okay why why can we not design parking lockers that don't get broken into how hard that could it be how hard could it be to have a parking that doesn't that you know how hard could it be Let's see what's this video. How hard could it be to have a, a parking that locks itself proper, a garage that locks itself, the, the garage door that does not break, that works under any weather, okay? Like, I want to see this. I want to see these things. Um, I want to see lockers that actually lock, lockers that lock, not lockers that get broken into, like every single locker. What's the point of a locker that gets broken into if it cannot be locked? And you know what? The only way you can lock the locker is with this little lock because they're designed for tiny little locks. So why not design the locker? Proper locking, really, re and then you can put a real good lock on him and the door to the locker will have a good lock. And of course, put the camera in the locker room and put a sign in its camera and put the security system and everything and I can go on my app and see, and see my locker right now and see my unit right now and see the temperature in my unit right now and see everything about my unit right now and click the button and say prepare my unit for dinner. Boom. It's done. Okay, I want this stuff. Um, I want to see communal spaces. The, maybe the most important thing about uh, condos these days are they do not provide social spaces. They do, do not provide communal spaces, and that's what we really need to see. So we need to see this. We need to see how people can have communal spaces. And I want in my condo, I want co-working space. I don't need a fob. Uh, maybe a, a fob, yes, but I, I don't need like to book it. And you know, the party room. Think about all these party rooms all over the city sitting there vacant empty every day and to get the party room it's like it's like a half hour of paperwork and you get this five page thing from your management it's on paper and you gotta sign it and you gotta give them the check it's like why not use if you already have the party room and you're not designing your condo it already exists make it into a co-working space right away and let everyone use it you know that's good use of space put a water cooler in there filtered water put a coffee machine there maybe bring your little pods from home and just boom 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 okay do it get it done Get really fast internet. Um, another thing, security. Like I can't believe it, but I actually noticed that in many condos, the security, the concierge cannot see the, the door. <laughs> so how come security, the first thing they need to see is be able to see the door. They can't even see the people in my building that are punching in. They can barely, barely see them. And they can't even talk. There's no intercom. So if someone behind the door, they want to talk to security, they have to knock on the glass. You know how it is. And then security is talking to someone else. Finally, you get in and... <laughs> There's no intercom to security. This is, it just this doesn't make any sense, okay? It's like, if you're a developer, call me. I'll help you design a building that will make it the Cybertruck, the Tesla of condos, okay? The Tesla of condos. Start thinking like Tesla. Also, when you're buying, demand these things. Start telling the salespeople 
at the sales centers, everyone you talk to, your friends, you want Cybertruck for condos. If Tesla can make a Cybertruck, why can't you make condos on that level? On that engineering, on ingenuity, on design, on really thinking of what the needs are and how I can supply them. And how can I pre-order everything online? You know, all these papers and book the condo room and go to the design center and the checks that don't come out on time. Oh, and so many things. Done. Done. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Solve it already, okay? Um, I want to see a lot of green spaces. I want to see trees. I want to see yards. I want to see rooftops. I want to see a lot of green. I want to see permanent lounging, co-working spaces. I want to see community. If you're thinking community, your building will be number one building in the city just because there's nothing like it. You know, 80 John Festival Tower has a really nice, it's on the uh, maybe 10th floor, I want to say. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous lounge. And you can actually go there with your fob. It's, it's beautiful. It's got high ceilings and it's got internet. It's got Wi-Fi. And it's got a couple areas you can sit and people sit there. It looks like a library. It's amazing. It's actually the only one I know that does this. So go there, check it out. And make something good. Make your condos like the Tesla Cybertruck. I mean, this thing even have its own electric ATV that comes with it. Okay? So, what can I have from my condo I can take with me and then bring it back? I don't know. Think about it. Look how nice. Everything just retracts perfect. It's so simple. It just makes sense. It just works. Okay? Make it so it just works. Make it that nothing breaks. I want nothing in my condo to break for 10 years. My condo, everything broke the first year already. And it's not that, you know, the developer themselves come and, like, hook up everything. But you got to pick quality stuff. Like, I want to know that when I buy a condo, it's quality so good, it's going to last me 5 and 10 years. All the deterrent warranty is so convoluted, so complicated. It seems to be simplified. Everything is on us for 10 years. That's it. You have nothing to worry about. It's 10 years. Let's go. Okay? That's it. Yossi Kaplan, if you want to buy, sell, assign, give me a call. If you're a developer looking to sell a building, give me a call. If you're an investor, want to buy or sell, give me a call. Thank you very much. I'm happy to serve you. Yossi out.